So what I'm showing you here is basically a list of what you can have in your pen pack. And on the right, you can see max and medium, right? That stands for maximum institution and medium institution. The X indicates that you're allowed to have that specific item in your pen pack if you're in these institutions. Now, most of us who go to federal will start in a medium institution because that's where they will assess our risk, right? I'm not sure if they've ever actually ever sent anyone straight to the max, maybe for like, you know, those super intense, murdery, crazy types of people. I don't know. But yeah, in our pen packs, we have like a $1,500 limit, right? So make sure that your family doesn't send you anything that exceeds over that, right? Because, you know, how they search up the price is that they will sometimes literally look up how much that item costed on, you know, the website or whatever store you bought it from. Like, for example, if you have like a Canada Goose vest, right? Those vests normally go for like $400. Well, if they're not sure how much that vest is, they're going to search it up right away. And they find, and if they see that it's $400, then they will write that down on the list of items you have. And if you, if you exceed $1,500, then you're going to have to send some of these items back to your family at your own expense. So yeah, we're just going to go through the list of items that you're allowed to have. So here we are at the electrical items. I would highly recommend getting like an alarm clock, a desk fan, and a power bar and putting those into your pen pack. You know, like a clock is nice to have because it's nice having an alarm clock and it's nice not having to, you know, go onto your TV all the time just to check out like what time it is because you're not going to have a clock in your cell, right? So it's good to have one of those. It's good to have a fan because during the summers, it gets very, 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 very hot, okay? Especially if you're in places like Drumheller, you know, like, you're like, you're basically in the middle of a desert, so you're going to want a fan. It's not going to be a big fan, right, because as you can see, the maximum, the maximum length it could be is like 12 inches, right? So, but hey, a fan, like a small fan is better than no fan. And get a power bar because each room only has like what two outlets so if you're having like a tv a fan and alarm clock well think about it right you're not going to be able to plug all of them in so having a power bar is nice and uh you know like when you leave the prison it's nice giving it to someone else because not everyone actually gets a pen pack within when they go to prison mainly because you know not everyone has family support like we do right and hopefully when you're watching this video that you have some sort of support on the outside that can help you you know bring all your stuff inside moving on to miscellaneous items you can pretty much choose whatever you want from here um, I personally packed Tupperware because, you know, when you're in the medium institution, um, sometimes I like bring food back from the cafeteria just to eat in my cell later, even though you're not supposed to, right? Just don't get caught. But sometimes when you do get caught, the guards just let it go, even though they're supposed to charge you. But yeah, bring Tupperware because yeah, it's good to store food, you know, and we don't really have fridges in our cells, so it's good to keep it, you know, somewhere closed and sealed, right? Um, I don't know, with mugs, the prison provides, well, Drumheller provided us all mugs, so you don't really need to bring your own mug, but if you want like an extra one, why not, right? I'm not sure if you can actually bring scissors, right? Because it is considered a weapon. And it, and even in the medium institution, they are pretty big on weapons. So um, I would just check with the prison before you, before you put any scissors in there, right? But we were allowed can openers because when I was eating things like tuna cans from canteen, they, they don't have that, you know, that the option to peel the lid with your finger, you actually need a legit can opener. So I would advise putting a can opener into your pen pack. Luckily, if you ever feel like you want to eat some tuna, there are other inmates who do have can openers, so you can always ask around, right? People in prison are actually nicer than you think. Um, 
but yeah just take a look at this you know you can bring your own books in there i had my brother send me like a few books for me to read right just a lot of self-help books whatever you like reading you know it helps pass the time i would also buy some batteries as well right and put in your pen pack um in some prisons and canteen they do sell batteries but when i was in drum heller they sold out all the time i couldn't get any batteries and you need batteries mainly for your tv remotes right and sometimes your fellow inmates may need batteries for their tv remotes too right so you want to help people out and you can always you know sell it inside for you know some pros or whatever currency that your prison is going with in my prison in drumheller our currency was the protein packages, right? In other prisons, it may be just stamps or, I don't know, cigarettes. It really depends where you are in Canada. But in most places, um, in Alberta at least, it is protein packages are the currency. But anyways, yeah, put some batteries in there because I had a TV and my remote died on me and it was just a pain in the ass just to like constantly flip the channels manually all the time right so moving down the list you can see more of the miscellaneous items that you can have so i didn't really have a combination lock but then as you can see it says no for both institutions uh for hangers yeah they are very handy to have but you can always fold your clothes if you, if you want but having hangers is always nice as for water bottles, um, I did, I did have my family bring a, throw in a shaker bottle for me. You know those shaker bottles for protein shakes? Yeah, very, very useful for working out and for the protein packages that you can buy from Canteen. I occasionally used it after my workouts, so I would advise, you know, bringing in a shaker bottle. But it can't be like those very long ones, right? This one says 16 ounces, so that's actually smaller than the typical shaker bottle that you think of so make sure that your family doesn't um, provide your shaker bottle that's higher than that so we can't have a geometry set and we can't have our wallets uh, when i got when i was going for sentencing i did have my wallet with me and when i got detained i believe they took away my wallet as well and i didn't really get it back until i was released from prison right my wallet had like my id and a few other things in it and they just held it in storage um for pictures i did get my family to send pictures of themselves and uh, with my dog as well and you know it really does help being able to wake up every day in your cell to see pictures of your loved ones so if you want some sort of comfort i would advise getting your family to send pictures as well next we are moving on to the audio visual equipment this is the stuff that will keep you entertained while you were in prison okay like this will help you get through the boredom i highly recommend packing in a tv some headphones even a game boy system if you're into gaming right i personally wasn't so i didn't really ask my family to pack me a game boy or a playstation one but you could be one of those guys that can like there were many dudes who were just playing pokemon all the time while they're in prison so for the tvs we see that it can only be 19 inches max right if it's any higher then the prison won't even hand it over to you they'll just keep it in storage or worse they'll send it back to your own family at your own expense so make sure that your family sends you the tv that is the right size and i also stress i want to stress that having headphones is very important because if you're in a single cell, it may not matter, but some prisons you will have a cellmate, and if you do, then you don't want your the sounds of both your TVs to be clashing, right? Or if your cellmate's trying to sleep, you know, he's going to have a hard time sleeping if you're busy watching your shows. So you want your own headphones. And for your headphones, you want to make sure that they have a long extension cord because some headphones have very short ones, and if your extension cord is too short, then you may be too close to the TV and you know you won't be able to like relax and lay down right you'll be just face to face with it and I bet that's gonna be pretty uncomfortable so make sure the extension cord is long next we're moving on to health and personal care items now the prison does provide you 
with most of these. They provide you with combs, disposable razors, um, nail clippers. I'm pretty sure you can buy from Canteen for very cheap, so you may not need your family to send you some, but just, just in case, if you're worried that the prison you're going to may not provide clippers, and sure, get your families to send you some clippers. Hair brushes, hair brushes. I don't, I didn't personally use it, but if you're one of those guys that needs it, then why not? Moving on to sports equipments. I never personally packed up any sports equipment myself, but I know a lot of guys who had their own baseball gloves and they would occasionally go into the yard and they would just play catch with each other. A lot of guys also enjoy playing badminton and many people have their own rackets, right? Um, so yeah, just take a look at this list and see what you would probably bring and hopefully you'll meet other guys who share the same interest with you in sports. Next on the list is clothes. Now I personally think this should have been in the beginning of the list because I personally think that this is one of the most important things to put in your pen pack and it's probably the first thing that you think about getting your family to do because if you go into prison blind, right, you're going to be stuck with the institution clothes and that's just not comfortable, right? In Drumheller, I had to wear like Walmart jeans and blue t-shirts. And this is what I wore too when I was working out. So you can imagine that it was pretty uncomfortable for me, <clears throat> especially when you're sweating your ass off, right? So yeah, take a look at this list and just pack up as much things as you can. Over here, it says that you could have two sweaters, okay? I don't know why it doesn't say this, but the sweaters, they can't be hoodies, okay? Because there's just a thing about, you know, you covering your face and just hiding from the cameras and just doing illegal shit, right? They don't want that happening. So make sure your sweaters and your jackets don't have any hoodies. Um, well, actually, for your coats, they may make an exception, but probably not. Your coats will probably just have to have, like, you know, the collars, right? But it can't have the hoodies on top of it. So... If you don't have a jacket like that, then unfortunately, you're gonna to have to get your family to buy you some. On the plus side, the prison does provide you with some winter coats, but I'll be honest by saying that these winter coats are actually pretty shitty. They don't even keep you warm much. Like, during the winter, it's just like, you might as well just wear nothing, to be honest. That's how, that's how thin that shit is, okay? But yeah, I personally packed up, you know, as much t-shirts, muscle shirts as I can, um, socks, underwear, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, just take a look at this list. <laughs> 